class 5. Today we have a topic cell. If we have to construct a building or a wall, we need bricks. When the bricks are arranged properly in place, then a building or a wall is made. Just like you can see here, a larger wall has larger number of brick and smaller wall has smaller number of brick. So, the construction of animals and plants body similar to the construction of building or a wall. All animals and plants are all living things made by cell. If we can't see a cell with our naked eyes, but when the cells group together, it formed an organ which we can see easily. Now, let's talk about cell. Here you can see two cell, plant cell and animal cell. Let's talk about plant cell. Plant cell, it is rectangular in shape. Here is a cell wall. Cell wall is the outer cover, outer layer of a plant cell. It is, it is rigid layer, fixed layer. It gives the shape to the cell and it protects the cell from harmful environment. Cell membrane. Inside the cell wall, we can see cell membrane. It is thin layer. And here is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is colorless and thick liquid gel. It has necessary chemicals or materials for the cell. It is vacuum. You can see a big part. It is vacuum filled with fluid. It is permanent in plant cell and it can be seen easily. Here you can see nucleus. Nucleus is the main organel of a cell. It controls the cell just like our brain controls our body. Without nucleus, a cell cannot function. It is the main part of a cell. Uh, chloroplast. Here is a chloroplast. You know well chloroplast. It contains green substance which makes plants green. Mitochondria. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of a plant. It gives energy to the plant cell. So, plant cell has cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, vacuum, chloroplast and mitochondria. Let's talk about animal cell. Animal cell, it has thin layer. It has thin layer which is called cell membrane. It protects the cell from harmful chemicals and it gives size to the cell, shape to the cell. Okay? And it controls what goes out and what comes in. It is cell membrane, outer layer. And here is small vacuoles. It is temporary in plant, animal cell. And here you can see cytoplasm, thick liquid gel. It contains necessary things like protein, carbohydrate, necessary things or chemicals for cell. Nucleus. Nucleus is the main part of a cell. Without nucleus, a cell cannot function. Now, mitochondria. It is the powerhouse of a cell. It gives energy to cell and it stores energy too. So, animal cell, cytoplasm, vacuole, cell membrane, nucleus, mitochondria. Here, cytoplasm, vacuole, cell membrane, nucleus, mitochondria are common organelles. But, cell wall and chloroplast only found in plant cell. Let's see the difference between 
plant cell and animal cell plant cell animal cell size plant cell larger than animal cell animal cell smaller than plant cell cell wall present in plant cell cell wall absent in animal cell chloroplast present absent vacuoles permanent temporary nucleus near cell wall near cell wall centrally placed centrally placed say rectangular in say oval in say so here you can see plant cell and animal cell all living things are made by cell so class i hope you enjoy today thank you